no surprise here. It is sweltering in East Tennessee, but it turns out some people in Knoxville feel the heat more than others. Data collected by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows in many cities across the U.S. the hottest areas often affect low income families. 10 News reporter Jacinta Render explains how researchers at the University of Tennessee Knoxville are working to raise awareness on what it calls heat inequities. Jacinta? Robin, it is all through Knoxville's heat mapping campaign that will pinpoint urban heat islands. A heat island is a place where people may experience excessive heat. Researchers say in order to change these, they need your help. Knoxville is one of 14 cities that participated in the 2022 heat mapping campaign supported by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. We experience what is known as um, urban heat islands, so places that buildings and pavement and other urban environments that um, trap that heat and it stays overnight um, and certain parts of our city are hotter. Jennifer First, a professor of social work at the University of Tennessee, is one of the researchers in the mapping project. First says in August, a group of volunteers will ride around Knoxville using heat sensors mounted on their cars and drive through neighborhoods to map areas where excessive heat may occur. What this really shows is that the people who are being impacted the most in our cities um, and who face the highest risk for heat related illness are already, you know, experiencing other burdens like energy burden. First says they've already seen heat inequities in the city on Broadway and in Western Heights, where there's affordable housing complexes and a large number of unsheltered people. Data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows that the hottest areas are often where low income families live. Our biggest goal in this is to collect the data um, and to be able to share it again to individuals who can hopefully make changes um, and give recommendations. And to help fight against heat inequities, people can plant trees and add vegetation to urban spaces, including green roofs, and provide more access to public air-conditioned spaces. Robin. All right, Jacinta, thank you very much. In the